What's up, YouTube? We're back with the latest ground loot update for Season 6 Cold War that came out with the last patch. If you like the content, please drop a like and consider subscribing. All right, let's get into it. So starting with the OTS-9, it replaces the MP5 as the common uncommon option. The most popular SMG at the moment, even after some nerfs, still a top tier TTK and obviously highly effective. The uncommon option, has 40 rounds so this is going to be an amazing uncommon option the rare adds a barrel task force legendary epic easy s tier i typically like guns with larger clips so i probably will take the epic pbsh over these but it's really hard to argue against the numbers next we've got the ak standing for you it's back um, i'm not sure there's an uncommon version i haven't seen it yet if it is it was really good in the beginning of the season um, so we'll see the rare and above I have a task force serpent wrap and uh, it's still a really good option but i think i put the ots the pbsh the mac 10 over it um, but there's still i think s tier rare is a tier mac 10 definitely been using it more since it's been ground loot definitely feels better when you have 53 rounds in the clip so yeah, I think the rare version is a great easy pickup. It drops very frequently as a rare version. Legendary Epic, easy S tier. Uh, rares, high A tier. It's really, really good. PBSH, uh, so Raven threw us a bit of a curveball and they switched things up with the legendary version, the cold pattern, unsuppressed with a 3X scope, Spetsnaz grip and has only 55 rounds. The Epic is still S tier, probably still the best ground for me. I like it as a sniper support. The Rare is still really good. The Legendary, I think I'm taking the Rare the rare over it. I would rather have 71 with the Iron Sights. LC10 comes in, replacing the KSP. It's got 55 rounds. It comes in Epic and Legendary, suppressed. It's solid, but it's in a class below the other SMGs on the ground in terms of TTK. Both are still, I think, high A or low S. We'll have to see where it sits. Nail gun is back. I barely see a drop within Battle Royale. I found it in Plunder. Still has a good TTK. Still not suppressed, small mag. So it's high B. ARs, the FFAR takes over as the common uncommon AR. Uncommon only has 25 rounds, so I'd rather have an OTS-9 or an uncommon grav, or even a stoner. Ran above have 50 rounds, so that's much better. It has good TTK, but obviously you just can't compete ADS-wise with the SMGs, but certainly can get things done. So I think the legendary epic are low S, high A, whereas low A, uncommon, common, low B. Uh, the graph. So there's been many comments about its recoil on Reddit when I uh, posted my tier list. And it's certainly not something you can use at range. And the rare and above versions are catered for that. However, it reminds me of the fire early on. People hated the recoil. They were like, oh, it's terrible, this gun. And certainly it's not great the recoil but i think it's controllable at a certain range and you just have to remember its limitations and that's where you can really find i think a hidden gem in the uncommon version with 50 rounds for an uncommon gun is very rare and it's a huge amount and i think after the ots 9 uncommon it's my second uncommon on the board so this is where knowing yes the recoil is not great but if you use it up close with irons I think it's controllable. I think it's fine. Legendary, Epic, Rare, they're all pretty bad. Low B, high C. But the Uncommon, I think it's a low low A or high B. Groza is in this season. Rare only has 30 rounds. Epic, Legendary have 45 rounds. They're all kitted for close range, but they are all unsuppressed. So the Groza has a solid TTK, but again, you can't really compete ADS-wise with SMGs. So Epic, Legendary, probably low A. And the Rare... Uh, mid to low B. EM2, been really digging the EM2, been trying out as a sniper support. So I've been holding on to the ground loop version a lot since it's better than my not fully leveled EM2. Um, it just has that really slow fire rate combined with that really well spaced recoil climb that makes it really easy to control. It's definitely one of the most popular long range options right now. I'm trying to, I'm probably going to try to create like a 
fast radius sniper version build. Both of these are S tier meta long range build. Fire A3, the Plaza security is back folks. It's actually almost the exact same build as season four, except it has an agency over the regular suppressor. Obviously the fire is not in the dominant position it was when the Plaza security appeared in season four. It's kind of fun to have the old favors back at explosive tracers and all um, but yeah it's not it's not the dominant far out that it was but it's still a really good long range option fire has really good recoil control so it's still s tier for me the plus security lmg stoner is in for the rpd as the common uncommon version stoner just always i just never really get to use a stoner there's always just something else that i'm taking it over over it even though it's quite good it's good ttk you'd rather have the faster movement reload of smgs ars and as long as you're just gonna use a sniper rifle uh suppressed match grade field agent grip so they're they're still low s the legendary epic rares low a uncommon b they're all really good they just just never gets run for me mg82 a, a, one of the reasons you know it's got a better ttk than the stoner it's got 100 rounds versus 75. So I'm always going to take an uncommon MG over an uncommon stoner. The Epic Legendary are high A. Again, not they don't, they're not for range. Rares low A, uncommon high B. Still a really good, good option. TAC rifles, everything's unchanged. DMR is the same. Um, it's just really hard still for semis and bursts to compete in this current meta. So it's just a high C. Car V, I like better than the AUG. Uh, because it's got iron sights um, So I would take a Carvey over the AUG, but again only high C and AUG is just not competitive in any way shape or form So it's basically mid to low C basically just before a shotgun <laughs> sniper rifles The Tundra replaces the Pallington It's still a meta Tundra Rare comes with Combat Recon, SWAT, Airborne Elastic, Epic Legendary of Sound Moderator. So it's definitely S tier, Ledge Epic for me. Rare High A. But it's still just, it's still behind the Swiss. Swiss is still the best. I don't think I saw a Legendary version at all this season. And I couldn't find the Legendary since the update to know if its name changed. But I'm presuming it's the same and it's out there. Uh, it's the most used weapon on WZ rank at the moment. It's my primary weapon. Uh, the rare is great, high A, and the legendary epic S tier. After the PPSH, the epic PPSH, it's it's my top ground loot. Pistols, Diamati, Diamati, uh, still around. I got a lot of comments on Reddit, people saying the Diamati's underrated. And there's, there's truth to that statement, but the reality is, I, and I always respond, I'm on mouse and key. We have a harder time up close against controllers. This is just a fact. And adding in a burst weapon to that equation is not a good recipe. It's still B tier for me. Again, this is for me, a mouse player. Magnum, I'm not even bothering to show clip footage for the uncommon epic versions. They're all basically the same. They're all basically to be used unless only in necessary situations which seems to be a little more now because it seems like they made it harder for auto weapons to drop in the first couple loot boxes. I don't know if this is like early on bugs in the season update, but that's what I found. I had to kill somebody with a Magnum last night. <laughs> so, but it is what it is. It's still not very good. And I would still take these shotguns over Magnum. Uh, irons hide same as before and I didn't don't think I've actually shot one this season or killed anyone with one this season so it's C tier how I'm taking over the iron side and it's still C tier forever C tier forever Howard same launchers as always and uh, well that's it guys and gals obviously Vanguard's out people are really pumping out the content for vanguard i don't buy the main game <laughs> i just play warzone because it's free and frankly i just i love 
Battle Royale. I love the format. I still play only Battle Royale. I don't play Rebirth. And uh, yeah, so it's gonna be um, exciting with the Warzone Pacific coming up. I'm looking forward to it. I am gonna miss Verdance. I really been a great time in Verdance. It's been a great almost one year for this channel. We're we're moving up towards 600 subscribers. So thank you everyone for the support. Thank you everyone who has uh, given me positive feedback, has appreciated my work. And yeah, we're just gonna keep on keeping on. And so I hope you found this informative. And uh, yeah, definitely will be putting out that tier list and then on towards the Pacific. We come. Catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>